Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with the new January release of the Dina Wakeley paints and some of her new transparencies. So in this page I'm starting straight off in my craft journal using the new paint colours from Dina Wakeley. I'm just laying them out in sort of a rainbow shape. So we're starting off with mustard, raspberry, I can't remember what the purple's called. <laughs> <laughs> Sapphire and Malachite, a feeling it's got a minerally name. Um, but I'm just painting them straight into my craft journal and no joke, they are um, really opaque. You can just see there the beautiful colour. Um, that page isn't sealed, it doesn't have any gesso on it. That's how they come up on this, um, the page. So that really bright yellow and so on is just fabulous and so so much can be done with it. So once I've put my rainbow stripe down on the page I'm then going to pop my um, transparency down. So this is a whole sheet of transparencies that have got um, silhouettes of faces with leaves and birds flying away from them and then it's got some suns and moons and so on on them so there's a, a bit of variety in each of them. I decided to use this one with birds and then I'm going in with um, some of the Dina stamps of birds um, with these um, with these wings I think it's called the stamps I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm going in with a paler ink this is just a, a grey because I just want to pop my stamps in so I can put some colour over the top of them so we're going to do an over stamping technique here um, to get the clarity of the image so I put the transparency down just so I knew where I was actually going to need to avoid and then I'm going over my image and I'm just painting over loosely so um, I don't mind if I go over the edges, I'm just sort of painting over where that stamped image is going to be. And I'm using all the colours that I have used um, previously, so this one's using the raspberry, and again just putting it straight onto the page. Um, using uh, a dry brush, or dry-ish brush, blah, 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 dry -ish brush um, straight onto the page. So um, just getting this, sort of this block colour effect. So what will happen is I'll then go in and over stamp with black and I'll get that detail back. So I don't mind that I'm painting over the stamped image and over the lines, I'm just sort of trying to colour in, instead of trying to be really neat I suppose with a very fine brush, I'm putting in the block colour and then I'll stamp in and do the detail afterwards. So once I've put in the last colour, this is the sapphire, it's a gorgeous blue colour. Um, I think well, they're all my favourites, I really like them. There's also a cocoa colour, so um, a really rich warm brown colour as well to the, the set. So you can see here I'm re-inking my stamp in black and stamping over the top again. Now the good thing about the um, stamps that I've got here is they are very finely cut to the image. Please ignore my head. Um, so you can kind of line them up, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off because you get this sort of like brush stroke effect over the top and because these stamps in particular are a little bit splattery um, it just adds to the effect so um, you really can't get it all that wrong. So the hardest part I found with this was actually working <laughs> out um, which stamp I'd used where um, and uh, making sure that that was right. So once I'm finished I'm just going to go in and heat set it and then I'm going to place my transparency and pop that down with some glue. So when I'm gluing down transparency, oh no, I'm going to do some splatter first because why wouldn't you? So I'm going with my gloss spray on a fan brush and just um, splattering that over the background. Uh, when you've done your splatter, it is a good idea just to heat set it a little bit. Um, because that's gone onto the raw craft, it will soak in fairly quickly, but just put um, spots where it has um, sat on top of the paint. Um, it just needs to be dried a little bit, which is um, a handy thing to do. So now I think I'm going to glue down, <laughs> down my transparency. You can see I'm just sort of putting the glue in the black bits of the transparency. When this dries, it will dry clear anyway. It really doesn't matter if you get glue on the clear part 
Um, but I tend to try and put it into the blackish bits of my um, transparency. Now I've got my transparency down, I'm going to pop a quote on the page. I'm just using the sort of lines of the rainbow to help me write this. So the quote is, she flies with her own wings. So just using um, long, thin strokes on my lettering when I'm working with it and um, making it sort of skinny and, and fit into the area it's supposed to. I'm also extending out <laughs> the body of the transparency just so I don't have a floating head on my page. Um, it doesn't necessarily look brilliant, I have to admit, but it, um, it grounds it so it's just not floating because I just have a real thing about things floating on my page, unless they're birds where, you know, they've got wings out, they're supposed to be there. I'm also going in with my white pen and just putting a little bit of a um, highlight on my page. Finally, just because the transparency goes a little bit across my, um, the spine of my book, I'm just folding it up so it has that little bend in it. So this is the finished piece, really, really easy. You can see in the close-up how that overstamping image works to get that beautiful effect. And these new colours are just so bright and vibrant on the page. So they've just made my heart happy. So um, I hope you can get your hands on them. They'll be out soon. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.